Greetings everyone, I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Europa Universalis 4 campaign, The Merciless Ming. So, uh, I don't really know what happened there, Steam went down for like 10 minutes or something like that, and, uh, it's back up now, so, uh, so I guess I can continue playing, but, um... Yeah, so... Now, why don't we spend some time thinking about what we want to do next. So we want to, um... Well, first off, we were going to send some gifts over to, to these guys. Let's see if... Yeah... Yeah, they're not going to be... swayed so easily by that. Alright, so what else could we do to, uh, bump them up? I desire a bunch of my provinces. We could give them subsidies. See what that does. Gives us uh, plus uh, 0.597 yearly. That's pretty good. Okay, so we can do that and uh, send them a gift. Then in a few years, we will, uh... Excuse me, try to vassalize them, I suppose. Okay, so... I think next on the docket, we wanted to, uh... Declare war on the Psalm. Oh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and transfer our... General over to here and move our army down here. Assam doesn't have any allies. There are four tech levels behind us. This should be no problem whatsoever. Nobody's going to come in, but that's okay. Alright, so. Uh, wipe, uh, wipe a psalm off the map here. It's really more of a cleanup operation than anything else. Uh, let's see here, lose 4,000 manpower, 75% chance. You know, at this point, I might actually take this. See here, Bhutan, you are You are Hindu. Alright. For seventy five percent chance I don't need to send a missionary there, that might not be the worst idea. And it worked. Yep, they're Confucian now. Which means I can just Send my, uh, send, uh, deploy the genocide flute. <laughs> uh, Bamanus is no longer a valid rival for us. Oh, that's too bad. Let's, uh, looks like we could rival somebody, though. We can't add them while we're at war, but, uh, we could rival somebody. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, try and intercept this army here.
producing cloth as well now. Alright. So let's see here, to be perfectly clear, yeah. We're not going to be able to, uh... We'll go ahead and, uh... We'll, we'll start improving relations with them soon, I think. Just so that we can start annexing them. Yeah, we can take the legitimacy hit now, I think. Okay, let's start sieging down their provinces here. Uh, here comes our vassal to help us out. Yeah, you guys take care of that one, and I'll go take care of the rest. Alright, we finished uh, converting the culture of another province, I see. Okay. What happened to that other navy? Oh, they're just sitting out here. Like dumbasses. Just doing nothing. Alright. Let's uh, merge these guys together. Got, uh... Kiwa here, and, uh... I could, uh... I could do some East African conquests, I'm sure. Uh, land tradition scorned. I'd much rather just lose five than gain ten navy tradition or whatever. So admirals aren't terribly useful for me, so... Okay, how are we doing over here? We are... Ah. Oh, Great Britain has colonized close to us. So, who do you think we've, uh... Got as our new, uh... Potential rival? I'm thinking it's... Either the Oirat... Somebody around here, maybe. I don't think it's going to be one of the European powers. I think, uh... I think we are still too, too weak. Or for them to be considered a, uh... Rival for us. But... And maybe, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and uh, find out that I'm completely wrong about that. Let's go ahead and pause this and do full annexation. Bye bye, Assam. And uh, now it's Russia. 
Alright, and I suppose I'm not too surprised about that. Because they desire everything about me. Alright, so let's, uh... Go ahead and issue our embargo against them. Okay, and right now I'm pretty happy I have the Oirad as a buffer state against uh, Russia at the moment. Though I'm sure, uh, actually, we're like two tech levels ahead of them, but uh, they have the bigger army. Okay, so. Let's start converting some of these guys. But uh, I think. First, we want to core them. Spend 80 converting this. Is that uh, non-accepted culture, intolerance? Yeah, okay. Alright, so, costly trade embargoes. We need to revoke the embargo here. It's going to take us... Two months for the diplomat to get back over, over here. Well, it is it is quite a journey from uh, from Moscow or Saint Petersburg. It could be at this point. Uh, actually, no, is that uh, that that is where Saint Petersburg would be. Denmark has has got a nice little. They've cut a, a nice little space for themselves there. Okay, let's revoke our embargo. And, uh, let's contemplate, uh, allies. So, Lithuanian Poland. Would any of you be willing to ally with me? Alright. Distance between borders is going to be too great. Even if I were to, uh... Increase my, my strength, I wouldn't... There wouldn't be any, uh... Alright, so the Ottomans as well. Oirat. Of course. Ottomans. Yeah, we're we're just uh we're just too far away from everyone right now. I mean I could I could uh Excuse me, I, I could uh potentially Get some of these guys, uh... Knocked out of the way, but, uh... Jeez. Yeah, Russia is taking control over... everything right now. Looks like Yaren is having problems with rebels, too. Okay, so... We've got a boatload of money. We don't have a lot of admin points, that's, uh... That's our main thing, but we can, uh... Can produce a lot of manufactories. So, let's, uh... Let's try and produce a couple here. Let's be good here. Good here. 
Okay, and yeah, then let's build some docks as well. Belongs to the Siam trade node. Don't really care much to improve that just yet. All right, so I think we've done a pretty good job of taking care of our surplus funds there. Oh, let's see here. What else do we need to do? We need to build more units. Merge these guys together. Because I am certain in fact we probably uh, want to go to get, go to war against the Oi Rad again if I had to guess. So we should probably try and fabricate some more claims here. He wants on Yi back. And then, uh, eventually we're going to, uh, take care of Yiren. So, how many men does Russia have? My main concern is that we will never be able to kept, keep catch up with them, but they only have uh, 62,000, but they have a 116 force limit. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty terrifying, actually. Uh, yeah, okay, Ottomans, let's, uh, let's get together, let's get together and, uh, Maybe, uh, maybe we can be friends and, uh, go take out Russia together. How would that, how does that sound to you guys? Yeah, our, our force limit is only 69. Okay, pretty soon we will be able to vassalize Yeren. Then we'll be able to send this diplomat away. Ottomans are expanding into the Mamluk territory, as is to be expected. Oh, uh, let's see here. They're dealing with rebels right now. Congolese peasants. Okay. Don't have any diplomats to send. Uh, do we have any uh, potential Cassus Belli against any of you guys let's see here I'm sure there I thought there was like some sort of Cassus belly map mode somewhere uh Nope. All right. 
So we'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. We have colonialism against Great Britain, Castile, Portugal, colonial conquest against Ainu, colonial conquest against Riku, Bonomen, and Dahoney. That calm nationalists on the rise here. Okay, these guys are actually in danger of actually rising up here. So, let's see here. We're going to send uh, send some armies to Colmundo and uh, Markham. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, let me try and build up some, uh, more guys in Lhasa here. Send out some more men. We need to start uh, being a bit more aggressive in our colonial expansion here, too. So we've got uh, Air Falls Ill. Okay, so. <laughs> you know. I I think I learned my lesson for the la from the last time. We will just try we'll lose the ducats uh, yeah. all right at least my emperor should be relatively young yeah he's 33 so so we've got uh, how chance do we have of getting an heir now Negative ten percent. Let's uh let's gain the stability. That plus one stability for free is always nice. Gain fortification. to fire fairly soon once uh once these guys are done we're gonna send uh send them over I think okay suffering casualties Can't convert these guys just yet. Send them to Sadia. Let's see here. How are we doing on our I mean, we're just about done with that, so once once the coring's done, then we can start uh, converting their religion. Okay, what are we doing here? It's 20.1% 20 20 chance of increasing 10% each month. Alright. Alright, we've uh, gained a claim on the Oirat. We got 263 as our heir. That's not too bad, I suppose. In the grand scheme of things, it's better than the 111 we started off with, though. That was two dynasties ago. <laughs> yeah, we're still called the Ming, for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay. 
Ah, we have chosen wisely. Thanks to our innovative ideas, we're getting more advisor opportunities there. It's like 1.3 years. Okay, so I'm going to have to raise uh, raise autonomy on these guys. Because that's, uh... Alright, Russia has rivaled us. Oh, uh, looks like they're done with the Oirat. They've, uh... Oirat have, uh... Actually, they got off pretty easily, I think. They only took a little bit off the top there. All right, and with that, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button, as it does help out the channel. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care.